Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today is the first update for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. This is a project that was started by Emily from Emily and Max. I will have her channel listed in the description box below, along with the community playlist, my playlist, and Emily's instruction video. If you are unfamiliar with this project, I definitely recommend watching Emily's instruction video. She's very, very thorough in her instructions, very detailed, and the rules have changed since last year. Like there's a new rule. They haven't really changed. There's just like an extra rule in the mix now. So if you want to understand how the project works, I definitely recommend watching that video. But I'll just give you a very brief synopsis of what goes on in this project. So this project is a prompt based project centered around a deck of cards and a game board. And Emily creates the game board. The prompts were um, either thought of by Emily or the community itself came up with some ideas as well and sent them over to Emily. And she has since imported them into a master list of prompts. And within those master list of prompts, a formula is used to input them into the game board. So I'll have a picture of this month's game board up. I haven't actually seen the game board yet. I haven't even pulled the game board up. Let me do that real quick. Prompts on the game board for all of the number cards, those change monthly, but all of the face cards remain the same. And there are two categories for the face cards, the red category and the black category. So all of the face cards in red have a certain set of prompts and all of the face cards in black have a certain set of prompts. So that'll be up on the screen also so you guys get an idea. There is also a joker that is included in the deck and that is an are you joking prompt and that's something that you really don't want to pan. I have my project tallies all here. I have the items in front of me and we're going to get started with talking about the first item that rolled into this project. So the first item that rolled in this project was for the prompt random uses. And I believe this was a nod to Haley. I think Haley was the one that came up. I said this in the same thing and I still haven't done the research. I believe Haley was the one that came up with the project random uses by generating a random number to generate how many uses you have in a certain product. So I rolled in this guy here. This is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting loose highlighting powder. And I'm so lit. Um, I rolled this in to use 10 times. That was the magic number that I rolled for the prompt I used pretty random and came up with the number 10 um, and I blew it out of the water. I ended up reaching for this a total of 15 times. So I reached for it over my goal. So this is rolling out actually. And honestly, there was no weight change. I used this 15 times, the 15th time being today. Um, you can't really tell. But I did film this look, by the way. It'll be the next video to come on my channel. It's a get ready with me, giving you an update on Bandit. If anyone is curious how my dog is doing, that video will be coming on Saturday this week. This highlight is beautiful. It's made me really fall in love again with that. I was reaching for it often. Obviously, we reached for it over the, fifth, the 10 times. So I've really been enjoying using it, but there's been absolutely no weight change in that. So 15 uses and I'm the exact same weight that it was when it rolled in, so... The second item I had rolled in was for a pick your space prompt, and that was really exciting. So I ended up rolling in a concealer for this. Concealer was on the board for the past or like last month's rotation. <clears throat> so I ended up rolling in this concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Classic Ivory. I don't have that many concealers in my collection, so I just wanted to focus on one. This is the one that I've just been focusing on, so I was like, why not just track the usage and whatnot? So I have a goal to finish this product. At the introduction, we were weighing 29.7 grams. I used this 28 times. I probably used it more than that, but I, this is what I have marked down. I used it 28 times, but we are not done with it. Um, if you can see in here, we have some serious demarcation in this product. There's so much windowing all along the bottom. I do keep it set up on my everyday makeup little bin holder thing so it does sit upright so the product does settle to the bottom which i've been trying to do with this because i know it's going to be annoying to get it out once the stopper gets removed because i am planning on removing the stoppers i do that with my concealers especially since they just sit then the next prompt we had rolled in i actually had to enact the the new rule last month because i didn't want to roll in a baked product because it was going to be a spoiler for my year-long project pan 
If you haven't seen my year-long project pan and don't want a little spoiler, I'm going to link the first update in the cards and in the description box, but I ended up having a baked product in there and I didn't want to fight for the spotlight of it. And so we just focused it on it in the year-long project pan. So I ended up having to pull two cards, combine the prompts to pick the next item. So that was a focus hair care product. And I don't really have any like focus in my hair care other than like wanting to finish some of the things that are like low hanging fruit have like I've used a significant amount of and just need to get them gone. So I did that for this guy. This is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. When we rolled it in, I was estimating that I was up here. And now I don't know if you can really see that gold line. Um, I estimate that I'm down there. I am really bad at tracking my usage for items that are not makeup because I don't write down like my, I write down my full face, what I did. I don't write down like perfume, lotion, hair care. I don't write that stuff down. So I am guessing that I used this about four times. I think I've washed my hair four times since the last video. That sounds so gross. I wash my hair every five days or so. So there's not a lot of product in here. The next item was for the prompt phone a friend and I did a really bad job checking back in last update. I ended up asking Josh like an array of five different products and asked him which one I should pick and that I was working on a lot of challenging things. So I had him pick from like a lot of non-challenging items. So he ended up picking this guy here. This is the Givenchy Irresistible Lotion. Um, when we rolled it in, I had this in a project before. So we were made a lot of progress in this all, like before. So when I rolled it in, we were down here. You can barely see this white line. It was a total give me product. I was like, I need to be successful starting off in this project. So I ended up finishing this. Now this is a scent that in lotion, it's way too much for me. Like this is very, very, very sweet lotion smell. Very much like um, Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea, if anyone remembers that scent from uh, early 2000s. That smells like this. And so it just was, it's too scented. Like I had it, I put it on for the last time today way too scented. Like I'm kind of grossing myself out with how scented bandit. I gave bandit some, I cooked him food today. So he just brought his bowl saying that he wants more of the cooked food. The next item that we had rolled in was for the prompt spotlight a panner. And I ended up going for something that reminded me of Linda from Linda loves life. I will have her channel listed in the description box. There is something about Linda where whenever I watch her pan that palette updates, I am so inspired and motivated and driven to like, I'm like, how in the world are you so dedicated with freaking black eyeshadows in honor of Linda and in honor of her constantly working on black eyeshadows in her pan that palette. I ended up rolling in this guy. This is a Kaleidos shade from my Futurism 1 sci-fi green palette. That's a palette that's in my pan those eyeshadows. So I figured we'll roll additionally another shade into this project just to get more use in that palette because it is a palette that is discontinued. I love the color story. I eventually would love it to be like worked out or at least used up so much that by the time I do need to declutter it, it's not like I decluttered a basically untouched palette. I want to use everything that I have. Why did I roll this in for this? I don't know. This should have been like a Joker kind of shade. This is one of the most pigmented black shadows that I have in my collection. This thing is so intensely black. And then if you did not watch my last update, I actually ended up rolling in a plus one. So I have six items in my deck of panning projects. So we have one more item to talk about. And for that, I ended up rolling a in it for the long haul kind of product. And what in the world challenging prompts were given to me last month. So for the In It For The Long Haul, I ended up rolling in a perfume. It is a perfume by Kenneth Cole. It is one of my favorite scents, or at least it used to be one of my favorite scents. I still love it, but not as much as I once did. So this is the Kenneth Cole Black, what it looks like today. So I was able to make a new marking on it. This is really, really, really challenging to see through. I shine a light through it and it's still incredibly difficult so I have to like look at where the light is distorted essentially like where the light's distorted where the water hits it in this or the where the perfume is so I'm guessing I'm about halfway between the top of the word black and that war white marking that I had on previously I think this is going to take me until the summer to hit my goal on so I want to finish this up it's going to be in it for the long haul. 
So there is that. However, I do actually get to roll in two items or two new prompts to this project for hitting my goal in this guy as well as this guy. Ooh, the light is out. And I know we had a conversation last in one of my other videos about light sensitivity making you sneeze. It's about to do it to me, this lighting. I'll be back once the sun calms down. Okay, so if you hear chewing in the background, Bandit is currently eating some more food. I'm very happy. I have already shoveled my deck of cards and I'm really excited to draw the two more prompts to enter this project. So I'm going to do the same way as basically going to cut the deck and show you whatever is underneath it. That's going to be the cards. So this one, man, I'm on a roll with face cards. So Jack of Diamonds is a random letter generator. So I just downloaded a random letter generator on my phone. So we are going to generate a random letter together. Um, so here we go. B. So I have to pick a product or a brand that starts with the letter B. So the second prompt that we're going to have is going to be this guy, the four of spades. And that is going to be a brand you own the most from. It took me a little bit of time to figure out what items I wanted to roll in for my new prompts. And I'm excited that I took a little bit of time to really think about what I wanted to bring in. And I'm excited about what I'm bringing in. So we're going to start with the item that I rolled in first, which was for the Jack of Diamonds. That was a random letter generator. And I, random and I randomly selected the letter B. And it can be a brand or a shade or a type of item that starts with the letter B. So because I am continuing to do a study of my palettes, um, that's what I'm like deeming, like trying to use everything. And I'm doing a no pan left behind. So I'll link my no pan left behind videos, by the way. I am trying to touch as much of my collection as humanly possible within the next year, well, like within a year's time span. So January 1st to December 31st, I'm trying to touch everything in my collection. So I am going to roll in my BH Cosmetics, um, B BH um, Avocado Toast Palette. And I am going to no pan left behind this. I just have to use every single shade in this palette one time in order to roll it out. So I'm excited. To totally achievable. Um, I can do a look using these like pinky tones, many looks using these green, like tealy greeny tones. And I am excited. If I can hit another pan, that would be awesome, but it's not my dedicated goal. So I just need to touch every single one of these 16 shades, including the black shade. Um, and that's going to help me also use my next item, which was for the four of spades, which was a brand you own the most of. And by long and far, I definitely own the most Bare Minerals products. Again, I used to work for Bare Minerals many, many years ago, and I have many ancient, old, gross products from Bare Minerals, mainly loose eyeshadows, impressed eyeshadows, but all of those count independently in my collection. So I have a bunch of single eyeshadow or like loose potted eyeshadows. I have a few pressed single eyeshadows that were depotted from like pans of eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. And then I have a couple like standalone like foundation-y products. So I'm going to go with this guy. This is a beautiful, beautiful, like I call this like a money kind of green shade. So it's just reminds me of like money, I guess. I don't know. That is this guy here. It is so pretty. It's definitely like a cool toned green shade. And I think that this is going to pair with like this row in particular of the BH Cosmetics palette so, so well. Like arguably this corner shade like over here is probably the same as this. Yeah, it's like virtually the same exact shade. This is the one from the BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Bare Minerals one. So they're virtually the same shade, so it should work with this palette in some capacity. So my goal with this Bare Minerals one, though, is to hit pan in this shade. I'm ready to touch and dabble in all of my things. If you want to see a X amount of looks one palette video with the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast, again, I'm trying to do a study in my palette. So mainly they're for me to like get ideas of, but if you want to see me, even if you want to see me recreating a look, like following a tutorial from someone else for a BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast palette, 
and see how I do with it. I'm happy to do that too. But my camera battery is about to die, so we're gonna speed this up. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing the deck of panning project pan. Let me know if you've met any of your goals over the course of this past month. But hopefully next month I have some exciting updates to share with you guys. But that is it for this project. Again, don't forget to go check out the community playlist and Emily's channel down below. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.